Hey guys, welcome back to Treadmill Review Guru. I'm Sydney, and today we're checking out the Nordic Track 14.9 Elliptical. It is Nordic Track's premium front drive model. It performs like a standard elliptical. It does have some nice features, and it's iFit enabled on the touchscreen. So let's jump in and take a closer look. Okay, let's jump in and check out the construction. So this is a fairly large machine as most ellipticals are. Its footprint as it's laid out like this is 67 inches long, 29 inches wide and 69 inches high. It doesn't fold up, so it will stay in your home like this. It's also pretty heavy. It weighs about 210 pounds. It can be moved around if needed. It has this rear handle to grip on that's steel and you can lift it up to be able to engage those transportation wheels. So you can move it around fairly easily, but just know that it is heavy. I can move it around kind of a little bit. With uh, the frame, that helps contribute to how heavy it is. It has a steel frame. Those steel stabilizers are underneath in the front and in the rear. Underneath the stabilizer here are adjustable leveling feet so you can be able to plant it to the floor to eliminate any uh, rocking or any movement and overall it feels really solid and stable to use and i think that in large part that is due to the frame the pedals are oversized so they're 15 inches long and about eight inches wide and this allows for users really of all foot sizes also they have a nice amount of cushion this cushion here really helps uh, reduce stress on your joints. I find it to be actually really comfortable underfoot. Also with these pedals, they have handles behind them and they have three different levels so you can adjust the angle of the pedals. So you can adjust them to be a little bit more horizontal or you can lift up the heels a little bit. This helps reduce foot numbness, which is pretty common on ellipticals because you're not uh, lifting up your feet entirely during every stroke. So your toes especially can get a little numb. So you have options with this to be able to adjust um, the pedals so you can kind of help eliminate the numbness, which is really nice. Also the stride length, it says it's adjustable. It says it's 17.5 to 18.7 inches long. With this range, we really don't notice a difference. When you're going, it's just the pedal stride, it feels really comfortable. It's definitely not adjustable like the FS14i Free Stride Trainer, which has a very adjustable uh, and also works as a stair stepper, elliptical, and a treadmill, kind of three three machines in one. So with this, know that it performs like a standard elliptical. That stride feels like a regular elliptical. And you know what? That stride length is comfortable. I am about five foot one. Some ellipticals, the stride just feels a little bit too long for me, especially with my kind of little short legs. This feels comfortable and our tallest reviewer is 6'5 and he felt the same way. It felt comfortable, it felt easy to use. Definitely kind of what you expect out of an elliptical. So just know that it, it says adjustable, but you really don't notice the difference. It's like an inch. Also gives you a total body workout with these handles. So these handles move in conjunction with the pedals. So you get that total body workout. The moving handles have multi areas to be able to grip. As I said, I'm relatively short, so the lower half of the handles are really best for me to be able to use the elliptical comfortably. If I kind of grip up here, it's just too much and I'm just not tall enough, but our uh, reviewers that are over six foot found that the top half is more comfortable for them. So you have options here, especially depending on your height. Also, you have the stationary handles that let you do like uh, lower body targeted training. And Considering that even when the 14.9 is unplugged, those pedals move. So when you step up, uh, those pedals will move. So it's nice to have these stationary handles to be able to hold on to. And we definitely recommend when you're getting on and off, uh, since those pedals can move around, to hang on to these handles. So awesome options there. Also, you have extra little adjustment buttons here that are just kind of under your thumbs and a nice little touch. So this is a front drive elliptical. It has a 32 pound flywheel that's mounted right underneath the console. It is kind of centrally weighted to help 
uh, eliminate and reduce any sort of movement in the console when you're using it. So that touch screen when you're watching iFit, just know that it, it stays really steady. The 32 pound flywheel is definitely, it helps contribute to the overall stability of the machine in general and it helps contribute and make that stride length feel really uh, smooth and consistent. So you won't feel any inconsistencies or uh, any of that when you are using the, the pedals especially. What is a little bit unique about the Nordic Track 14.9 is that it does have an incline feature. Those pedals will incline up, kind of gives you a little bit more options with your training, makes it a little bit harder. It has 20 different levels to work with. Uh, something to keep in mind is that I measured from um, when it's at a 0% grade, when that the pedal's at its lowest point, it's about a foot off the ground when it is raised all the way up, it raises up about seven inches. So something to keep in mind with this is that you do wanna make sure that you have a high enough ceiling so you're not gonna hit your head, especially when, when you use that uh, incline feature. The incline feature does make a little bit of extra noise. Overall, this machine's practically silent when you're using it, but when it is adjusting up, it does make a little bit of noise. Um, I'm gonna show you that in that functionality section. Also, with taller users, you are going to need to use caution. We, our tallest reviewer is six foot five, and when he inclined it all the way up to 20%, he felt like his knees were going to hit these stationary handles. So just something to keep in mind with that. We're also gonna show you that in the functionality section. The resistance has 26 levels. It's magnetic, it's quiet, and it offers a good amount of tension. Sometimes other ellipticals that we've tested just don't have quite enough amount of resistance that we like to see, but this one, it definitely provides a challenging workout and it definitely provides you a low impact uh, workout. So it's a great alternative to like a treadmill if you uh, have a little bit more discomfort in your joints when running. And Nordic Track covers the 14.9 with a 10 year warranty for the frame, a two year warranty for parts, and a one year warranty for labor. And we definitely recommend at least two people to set up this bad boy because as you can see, this is a big machine. All right, so this is the console on the 14.9. It has a 14 inch touchscreen. The touchscreen really doesn't have much adjustability. It just slightly can tilt up and down so you can avoid any overhead glare. Also, if you're taller, you can be able to angle it up and if you're shorter, you can angle it down. We did notice that overall the console sits a bit low, especially like once you incline those pedals up you do have to look down at the console. It doesn't feel excessive, but just overall it felt low to us. I love to use the touchscreen when I'm adjusting on this since there aren't really any buttons besides uh, just the buttons on the handles and then your buttons down here that will go to specific uh, increments. When you're in a class on either side of the screen, you'll have uh, a range here with the incline and a range over here with the resistance. And that's just easier to be able to jump from like low to high resistances and uh, inclines. So I like using the screen for adjusting on this one. Plus the screen just feels a good size. You can be able to view all of iFit's content really well. I think any larger, the handles would definitely get in the way. You have, like I said, your other buttons down here to be able to use, adjust your volume. There is a fan, and you know what? This fan is actually pretty powerful. I'm gonna let you listen to it. So that's the lowest setting. That's the highest setting. So that airflow is pretty nice. Um, it hits, I'm about five foot one, it hits my face and with our taller viewers over six foot, it hits kind of their uh, chest, kind of upper torso region. So it provides a nice amount of airflow. So that's definitely nice to have. The speakers are up here, front facing, they point at you, they're clear. We really haven't had any problems with uh, Nordic Track equipment with the speakers. Also just know that you can't pair these speakers with your device to be able to listen to your own music. So kind of limited to uh, the music that's available on iFit and also uh, iFit's content on the touchscreen. There also isn't a really any storage or place for you to 
put your phone or your tablet to be able to watch something. So you have a cup holder that's down below the console for your water bottle. You can also stick your phone in it, but for kind of streaming on your own, listening music through the speakers, you really don't have, um, have options with that. The iFit does come free for the first month when you purchase the 14.9 and when you uh, subscribe, you get all of the features. So one of my favorite features is that when you're taking a class, the elliptical will automatically adjust to match like the terrain if you're in an outdoor class or it will uh, match the instructor's cues. So if they tell you to turn up the resistance, the resistance will increase for you. You can also adjust just their elliptical at any time, but this is just a really nice feature. So you don't kind of takes any questioning out of your training. Um, and you don't have to worry about uh, wondering what resistance level the instructor's talking about because it will adjust, adjust it for you. So that is available with a full subscription as is all of this that you can see here. This is the home screen, this is the library. On the home screen, they'll suggest, you know, recommended workouts. The workouts are led by over 180 instructors and they're in a format where uh, the indoor classes feature the instructor in front of the camera guiding the class. Sometimes you'll see other uh, members that are taking the class in person. And then with the outdoor classes, they uh, follow the instructor through locations all over the world. They actually film on every continent. And what's nice about taking an iFit class on the 14.9 is you have access to walking, jogging, uh, hiking, running classes. Also, there's like ice skating and cross country skiing classes. So you have a lot of different options and a lot of different uh, types of activities that I didn't realize um, we're on iFit are available on the elliptical when you're taking it. You can also do uh, mat classes. Just know that with the screen, it can be a little bit harder to see, but if you angle it down, I'm able to see uh, like when I have my mat behind, behind the pedals. So iFit's pretty easy to navigate. The classes are on demand to take whenever you want. You have a little uh, navigation bar down here. If I click browse, I can go in and I can use the search bar that's up top to be able to, I could type in like ice skating and it'll pop up those classes. There's also filters where you can filter by like the duration of the class, what type of workout. So finding class is actually pretty intuitive, pretty easy to do. You also, if you wanna take a break from trainer led classes, you can go and hit the create button down here and it will pop up the Google map feature. So it pops up just kind of a default location. Like we're in Cape Town. And with this, I can just go in, I can select one point and then go over and select another and it will automatically draw a route. And as you're going, it just shows uh, Google map images of the location. So kind of gives you a little bit um, more versatility so you don't, if you wanna take a break from following an instructor and be able to explore on your own. So overall, we definitely recommend checking out iFit, at least trying it for the first 30 days. It's definitely worth it on this machine with the amount of classes that you have to choose from. There's, I think, over 16,000 classes, plus they add to the library regularly. And with the music, it is uh, like, it kind of plays like a radio in the background. We do wish that there were some classes where it was incorporated in the class, like maybe with some of the indoor classes, but you can change the station at any time and they have different genres to choose from. And if you wanna learn more about iFit, head to treadmillreviewguru.com. We have a full written review there. And we also have a review of iFit coming. So definitely recommend checking iFit out on the 14.9. All right, so now I'm gonna hop on the 14.9 elliptical. But first, if you find this video helpful, give it a like and subscribe to our channel. We create reviews like this so you know what to expect from fitness equipment before you take it home. And let us know in the comments what you think of the Nordic Track 14.9 elliptical. All right, so to get on, like I said, it is helpful to be able to hand, uh, hang on to these handles because those pedals will move. Okay, so right now I'm just on level one with the resistance.
I'm gonna turn it up to level 13. And here is level 26, which is the highest level of resistance. All right, so turning it back down. I am on a flat grade. Now I'm going to incline it to 20 percent okay so here it is fully inclined and once that incline motor is done adjusting it turns off so this machine is relatively quiet quiet just know that the incline motor does make a little bit of extra noise. Here's Matthew, he's our tallest reviewer. He is six foot five. Here he is at level one resistance. Level 13 resistance. And level 26 resistance. And here he is at a moderate resistance at the full 20% incline. So thanks for watching our review of the Nordic Track 14.9 elliptical. Some things that we like is that the 14 inch touchscreen is enabled with iFit. iFit offers thousands of trainer led content so you never really feel bored on this elliptical. The pedals are oversized to work with really any type of athletic shoe, plus they're cushioned to help reduce stress on your joints and they are adjustable so you can help avoid foot numbness, which is common uh, when you're using ellipticals. With the multi-grip handles, they allow you to grip different areas. They also allow you to get a total body workout on this machine, and they have different options depending on your height. Overall, this machine is quiet to use, really appropriate in really any type of home space, and it's reasonably priced considering how uh, high quality it is. We found it to be really durable and solid to use. Also, the stride length is comfortable for pretty much users of all sizes. Some things to keep in mind is that taller users might feel a little constricted when they're using that incline function. Our tallest reviewer felt like he was going to hit his knees on the stationary handles, so taller users might want to use caution when using that feature. Also, the incline motor is a little bit noisy. It just makes a little bit more noise, especially considering when you're using this machine, it is practically silent. So just something uh, to be aware of that. It only makes noise when it is adjusting. And overall, this machine is heavy and it doesn't fold up. So it will stay in your house and uh, just as it is like this. So it's not really storable. However, the size and the weight of it does speak to its durability. If you want to learn more, head to treadmillreviewguru.com. We have a full written review there of the 14.9. You can check the link in our description for the current price. And if you like this video and find it helpful, give it a like and subscribe to our channel. We create reviews like this so you know what fitness equipment like this perform before you take it home. I'm Sydney with Treadmill Review Guru. I'll see you next time.